Bitcoin met some resistance at that 21,000 mark, which led to the alts following suit. Yes, that's XRP and XLM, which also couldn't hold key levels. But we have several events coming up this week that I'm gonna inform you of that could either extend the crypto rally or turn the green candlesticks that we've been seeing lately to red ones. Let's start it off with the heat map as price action is the theme of the video. Bitcoin sitting at 20,583, ETH 1525, XRP friend of the channel sitting at 37.9, and XLM sitting at 8.5, down 1% in the last 24 hours. Key levels were not held, which led to the market pulling back just a little bit. But remember, we're still way more green than we were even a few days ago. But what is everyone in the street talking about with this week of economic news coming up? Macros, everyone, still rule the roost. Yield curve inverts to historic lows, sounding recession warning. The yield curve has had a great historical record predicting U.S. recessions, and it's signaling one coming. The 10-year Treasury bond now yields more than 1% less than the three-month month bill that's unusual in fact it's lower than what we've seen in any point in the last 30 years it's been a historically robust indicator that a recession is coming yet in contrast to this stark warning the jobs market remains robust see macros everyone that's all that we're focusing on right now what else do we got going on this week that can set the stage like how i did that that's the world economic forum happening in davos 2023 from january 16th to 20th some of the bigs out there are going to be talking things that we're interested in. Stellar is going to be there, everyone. Interesting stuff. What else do we got? All right, let's get into macros. On Monday, you have two big reports that are coming up. Chinese GDP for the fourth quarter. Now, we know it's going to be a bad number because, remember, the Chinese market just opened, and that's what we're worried about, right, with the supply and demand fears. But if it's lower than expected, that could definitely pull the markets down. If it's higher than expected, the markets are going to be like, okay, maybe China's not in as bad shape after being locked down for so long, so there could be more optimism. The other thing, house prices. Yes, are home prices going to finally be going down with Jerome Powell and the Fed cranking up interest rates? And that's something that all of us here in the United States and actually across the globe have been very fearful of. Home prices have just been off the charts. And the problem is, if they don't come down fast enough, people are going to be paying even more. Why? Because those rates that Jerome Powell are jacking directly affect how high your rates are for your mortgages out there. So you would have high prices for homes as well as increasing rates for, yeah, home loans. Crazy stuff, isn't it? On Wednesday, yes, my fans from across the pond they have their CPI data on Wednesday. It's UK CPI data for December. And again, macros rule the roost. What we're looking for is we're looking for UK CPI data to match the same trend that the United States is doing. Now let's go on to price action. Let's first start off with Bitcoin. All right, let's talk. Bitcoin hit that 21,000 mark right here. But as you can see, it could not hold that, has retraced now a little bit lower. XRP and XLM did the same thing, but there's some key points here. And let's move this chart over so y'all can see it a little bit better. XRP had a nice big candlestick right here, hitting to a high of 40.7. Now, mind you, I'm using Yahoo Finance. Some of the other exchanges out there had it listed higher. This is for illustrative purposes. But XRP could not hold above that 40 cent mark. And in fact, the candlestick that we're dealing with today, yes, today, everyone, has a sitting at 38.2. XLM, the story is the same, right? Above nine cents. That's 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 really, really good. Because look, just a couple weeks ago, we were down here in 7.1. That is a massive rally. That's almost a 30% rally in two weeks. That is great news. But it could not hold that. And again, a retrace back on down to 8 Point six. So now what does it all tell us? This tells us that the market is being cautiously optimistic. Yes, we're seeing action on the way up, but once we get to kind of key areas, right, significant numbers, you can see that the market doesn't want to hold it. In fact, it's just retreating a little bit. People are taking some profits here after being on the pain train for so long. Now the chart I have up on the screen has Bitcoin now at red, XRP in light blue, and XLM in purple. And you can see that the trend, they are all following each other, right? Now, granted, Bitcoin has had the biggest pump of this move, but look at the inflection point right here. It all happened on the same day. The markets are following the lead of Bitcoin, okay? So if we get good news, especially with Bitcoin miners, that'll help extend the rally. Macroeconomic conditions, right? If macros are bad, right? Let's say UK's CPI data comes up and the UK CPI data is higher than projected. That'll definitely send the market on down thinking, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe the UK central bank has to jack 
debt rates up even higher, which would then lead to Jerome Powell and the Fed going, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, maybe their data is kind of bad that we need to pay attention to more than, yeah, that's right, then that would put more pressure on the 50 basis point hit for the U.S. rather than the 25 that economists are talking about. The other thing that we have to consider right now is that we still have a lot of room to come back to, okay? Let's be real here. If I zoom out here, you could see this. We still got a ways to crawl back, and this is a chart now for about the last nine months. So yes, it appears that maybe, maybe we have hit the bottom in this phase right here. Here, but there's still so much more room to go on the way up with so many macroeconomic factors looming. Jobs reports, house prices, CPI data. Will Jerome Powell and the Fed drop to 50 or a 25 basis point hit on the market? That's why the market is cautiously optimistic. That's why you can see at those key points of Bitcoin at 21,000, XRP at 40 cents, and XLM at 9 cents could not hold and retraced while traders out there took profits. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm actually quite happy that people took some profits here and that the candlesticks didn't keep on going on up on a freakish way. Why? Because that's not healthy, nor is it sustainable. And what we've seen with crypto in the past is the faster things that go up, faster they go on back down. So every once in a while, if we go up and take a little step down, go up, take a little step down, up and down, the overall trend will be positive, And that's what we need to see out of the crypto markets. The moonshot, the hopium and all that, that is not a sustainable mechanism. Anytime you have a moonshot, you also have, it's just a cratering event. So if we see this stair-stepping kind of action happening with crypto, that is very, very healthy for the crypto market. That then leads a lot of traders and investors out there to believe that crypto is gonna be more sustainable than if we're always hoping for the moonshots, everyone. So stuff like this, price pullbacks like this are good things as people are taking short-term profits on some 30 plus percent action. And some of these coins out there have even rallied even further to 50, 70, 80% over these last several weeks. So is the bottom priced in? How about this? How about you let me know what your thoughts are? You know I read the comments, comment back on them. Let me know, is the bottom priced in or are we gonna see a retracement back down to the levels that we saw just a few weeks ago? Thank you very much for the various level support for this channel. I'm humbled by all the nice comments, donations, uh, likes, subscribes. It, it's just been amazing, everyone. And seriously, a thank you from me to you. Now, this video right here, more in-depth action on what's happening with Crypto Web 3, specifically designed by YouTube's algorithm for you. Until more news breaks, you cool cats, have a great rest of your day.